if you did not have a chance to be out today, don't worry. There are more of these types of days ahead, even though rain chances go up a little bit next week. It's going to be far more dry weather ahead than wet weather. That's for sure. Uh, and this weekend, you could really describe the same way shower or two possible tomorrow. And yes, one or two of those showers may actually be a brief downpour uh, could bring tenth of an inch, two tenths of an inch of rain to a handful of communities. But I think what's going to play out is more of the region, vastly more of the region will stay dry all day tomorrow than see any rainfall. Pretty muggy tomorrow night, another summery night, 66 for the low, and then back to the mid 80s on Sunday, still humid and warmer after those clouds tomorrow give us a little more in the way of cooler weather, at least what passes for cooler this week. 80 is still well above average. The moisture from what once was Hurricane Francine is the culprit or one of two culprits for our rain shower chances coming up this week. And notice how this storm by and large has sort of rained itself out. This is the center of circulation, which is barely even discernible at this point. I mean, winds are down to 15 miles an hour. We've had stronger winds here today uh, and most of the rain is done. So the moisture that's coming in is sort of in mid levels and you can definitely see this little finger of moisture being uh, brought up the I-35 corridor toward the Twin Cities but slowly and similarly here this front that's off to the west through the Dakotas has created this little narrow line of some pretty good rainfall, some occasional collapse of thunder, but that also is moving eastward slowly. So that's why I think this evening we are dry. This is uh, one of the most active parts of the hurricane season, the Atlantic hurricane season, and we do have a new storm to talk about. This is newly named Tropical Storm Gordon. It is sort of directly between the Caribbean islands and the west coast of Africa, and it's actually going to sort of just die off here in the central Atlantic the way it looks right now. So yes, a new name, but no, not a new threat. Low temperatures tonight under skies that should be more cloudy than clear, and that will be an issue, I think, for any Northern Lights viewing opportunities. We'll generally be in the 60 to 65 range in most spots. You can see a few communities up to the north, particularly northern Wisconsin, will be in the mid 50s, so a bit cooler. But that southeast wind 15 to 20 will help to keep temperatures up tonight. We wake up tomorrow morning. There's the front. Some showers likely along it at 6 in the morning, and we're talking places like Leech Lake down to Alexandria, Wilmer, and Marshall. And then here's that little surge of moisture coming up from the south associated with Francine. Now, this is a computer model, and computer models often get uh, things wrong but they're sometimes useful anyway. And what I want to do with this one is sort of point out a couple of things. First of all, that rain is going to be very isolated the way it looks to me right now. Second of all, the best chance for any pop-up showers or downpours will be coming up from eastern Minnesota into Wisconsin. But even here, notice all the dry real estate. If that changes, we'll let you know. But right now, this is how Saturday looks with temperatures getting up again to about 80 or so. And then as we go through the evening into the overnight, we're going to watch northwestern Minnesota for Sunday morning and then again Sunday afternoon for again a couple of pop up thunder showers or downpours possible. But I think Sunday right now looks dry. And that's good news for Vikings fans for the home opener. Temperatures will be warmer Sunday. They will likely have the doors open at U.S. Bank Stadium, although maybe they'll close them because it'll be too hot to have them open. We'll see. Uh, bottom line, nice day there, and that game is right here on CCO. So you will know first with our live pregame show as to whether or not those doors are open. In the next week, you might want to keep your doors closed and keep the AC on. I mean, temperatures near 80, but overnight lows 65 to 70 with some humidity. That's still pretty summery in my book. And again, we'll have a few showers out there popping up Wednesday, Thursday or Friday, but none of those days are a washout. Before we know it, it'll actually be fall. So with a weak La Nina pattern, which we have this fall, what tends to happen is this summer tends to keep going until about mid December and then temperatures oh drop like a rock. Wow. So it's not going to be 80 in sure. mid-December, but above average looks more likely than not. Potentially balmy. Got it. Thank you, Mike. Yep. The Twins get a key cog back in the 